How are you doing, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sir, my guest today is what White's Crispy, guys. Today we are going, I'm going to interview him and I'm going to ask him 10 questions. Um, you have anything to say before I start the interview, White Crispy? To your fans? I'm sorry, I was echoing. Yes, I, I want to thank you, first of all, Gregory, for having me on here and considering me to be on your stream and thank your audience that is watching now and in the future and everybody in the chat. I see Brandon Mitchell is here. He's a longtime supporter. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Old guy Mitch. Hey, honey. But thank you again, Gregory. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, first question is, you, your YouTube name and interests. What is your YouTube name and, and interest of your YouTube channel? What is what is your channel all about? Oh, what is my YouTube name and interest? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. What? Yeah, you. What's your YouTube name and what? What is your channel more to? What is your channel all about? What about it, your, your channel? Sure. Well, my YouTube name is Rights Crispy. Um, rights because I love my rights, and mm -hmm. crispy because I like to stay crispy when I go. But also, Crispus Attucks was the first American who died in the American Revolution. Ah, interesting. He was the son of a Native American and African. And he was in a stevedore. He worked on the docks in Boston. And when the Boston massacre occurred, that's the first person the British people shot. And that's what sparked this, what they call a beautiful experiment here. Rights Crispy is the name of the channel, but it's about government accountability. We all pay taxes most of us, and it's a lot. It's sometimes too much, and everybody looks around and sees how it's wasted every day. So if we can put a video camera on how it's wasted and show everybody, perhaps, hopefully, in a few generations, we can enact some type of change, get some kind of control back. But it's government accountability with a focus on police misconduct is what I do. Oh wow! Uh, I watch your videos. I I I know um, I watch your lives and uh, I like uh, I like your videos and your life. You know it it's um pretty good. You know. Thank you. I, welcome. I like your channel very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. It's not many people see the good in what we're doing. A lot of people like to look at me instead of what I'm showing them. They they focus on my behavior. I don't take a penny of your taxes. But the people I'm showing you are the ones who you are paying a lot of money for. And they retire. You pay their pension. You don't even know that that's what all your money is going to. Is a retired deputy or a retired police officer's pension. Somebody who violated people's rights throughout their whole career, you're paying a tyrannical pig their pension for a long time. They're millionaires mm -hmm. in their second year of retirement. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, because the last year of their duty, they get all the overtime pay. Throughout their years, they arrest people before shift change just to get overtime paid. Innocent people. Just to sit around and do easy paperwork and wait around for the DA. They'll arrest people for money. Their own pocket. Innocent people. They do that. Some of them. And your three years that are highest paid are what your pension is based off of. 
So your last year, they do that a lot. And then after you retire, they give you a job as a reserve deputy where you work in a courthouse and you get double dipping taxpayer money. That's why I say in a couple of years to become millionaires after retirement. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. And they say they pay taxes too, but how do they pay taxes with our taxes? Hmm. Okay. Next question to how long you've been doing this on YouTube? For five years. Since Five June years. 2019. So before George Floyd, before the riots slash protests that happened in 2020, we felt a need and a com I felt compelled to try to show people through... I, there's a channel called Rogue Nation who I saw him go to a youth detention center. Mm -hmm. He asked them two questions. How many kids and how many beds do you have here? I don't want to see them. I just want to know the number, the count on deck. And they wouldn't tell him. That was a red flag for me. We paid taxes to know the, this information. As a journalist, you walk into a government building and you want to know if the children who are being incarcerated are well taken care of if they're sleeping on the floor or not, they yeah. wouldn't ask how many of them. If there was 29 yesterday and today there's 28, what happened? You know, there's a school. School. <laughs> it, it was a place called the Dozier School for Boys. And it's uh -huh. opened up in 1900. And oh, wow. 2011, it closed, but for the last 40 years, they were beating, um, I can't say it, I don't uh, mess you up on your channel, they were doing horrible things to these young prisoner boys, and they found 80-something shallow graves on the grounds of the ruins of that place after they closed it. And in 2019, when I started... They found 20-something more graves. That makes it over 100 young people who perished mm -hmm. because we didn't look. Out of the entire planet, we have 25% of the world's prisoners here in the land of the free. And a lot of them are young people. So... Wow. If we don't look, that's what happened. They sell them to somebody on a yacht for $10,000 that deputy walks away with because a young child got put on a super yacht. Human trafficking is the biggest problem in this world. And I don't expect to expose it with my camera there right away. But if I show up with my camera, they're going to think twice about doing it that day. Good for you. Good. That's good. Gotta, you know, gotta help on um, the, the office. Gotta, you know, gotta have to, gotta, you know, gotta do it, you know? We have to. Mm -hmm. I want my children to say, Papa, what did you do in 2020? And I show them Rice Krispie. And I tell them, like and subscribe. That's good. <laughs> Next question. What was your excited moment from your video and or someone else? What was the most exciting moment for myself in one of my videos? Yes. Or for it, someone else? Yes. What that was the exciting moment from, from your video and someone else? So from my video and someone else's video? Yes. Okay. I Easy two things that pop up. In one of my videos, I was in a courthouse where these people, there is a deputy at this sheriff's office 
who is responsible for two missing people who have disappeared. He is right now the defendant in a lawsuit of unlawful death. He arrested them, but then let them go, but they disappeared. The family never saw them again. Mm -hmm. And where he said he let them go. Anyway, I went to that courthouse and I put my camera down and I said, I'm going to charge this. And the deputy said, don't put that down there. That's my desk. I said, this is the people's desk. And he says, if you put that down there, I'm going to take it. I said, don't take it. So I put it down there and he took it. And I went and I grabbed it back like to win it. And I, I was fighting against the cop. I thought oh, I was wow. going to get arrested. But I, I got arrested three times after that. But that moment, I think, was the only time that I was like worried about it. But then I realized like I got my shit back. You know, That's after good. that. Yeah. And and it's the only time I've ever cussed at a cop. I called him an effing punk. Because he took my camera. And that's a, a felony. Sudden theft by snatching. Oh, yes, yes, I know, yes. I know. More, I know, pretty, I know a lot of states about that, you know? But the cops don't hey, even care, you know? The cops don't care, you know? Shout out to Lemmy. Hey, hi, guys in the chat. Thank you for coming in. Okay, next question. What? Oh, oh the second part of that. Oh, yeah, yeah that, 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 that's what I'm part of the Was when open government investigations and the late Jay Surreal, rest in peace, they were pulled over by a Lee County Sheriff who they refused to this day to have dash cams or body cams, just like the Polk County Sheriff's Office. They don't want them either. Mm -hmm. They're proud that they don't have dash cams or body cams in both of those counties. They pulled them over at gunpoint because they were following them. Because they were going to report them for speeding. They weren't even speeding. And they followed them for 30 seconds. And the deputy pulled around and held them at gunpoint. You know the military in enemy territory has higher rules of engagement. Where they can pull a gun on somebody. Mm -hmm. On an enemy, even if an Iraqi is walking around with an AK-47, they can't pull a gun on them unless they point it at them. But here in the United States, our own police, in this police state, they can pull a gun on innocent citizens because they see them doing something wrong. They were speeding, and they were going to follow them and, and get their mm -hmm. tax number so they can report it. Not speeding after them. They were following them at a safe speed. But he did a U-turn and held them at gunpoint. And that's that was crazy. I, I, I thought that was horrible. And the, the, the stuff that happened after that was ridiculous. The sheriff went to the news the next morning and said that these guys were shouting bad words at them. Of course, if you point a gun at me... <laughs> And we get you, and you have to put it away. I'm going to let you know how I feel. There's no law saying bad words. No law at all. You, know, you can say bad words. The delicate you know. sensibilities yeah, you know. of the deputy. Delicate sensibilities. And, and when the sheriff said that, it was so ironic that the following night, those same two guys went out again, and they found one of the deputies cussing at a citizen saying, I'll put you effing in jail just because of his son or something like that. The father of somebody who they were called on is like, I'll effing blah, blah, blah. And rest in peace again, Jay Surreal was like, oof, oof, because the cop was cussing at them so bad, worse than they did the night before. It's hypocritical. So they don't want cameras there because they are – when treating when when you expose a crime and it's treated as a criminal act, you know you're being ruled by criminals. That's Edward Snowden. I watch um Joey's brother uh, um videos. I don't I don't know him, but the videos is good. I, I, I like both Joey's and his brother videos. You know, um, Joey surreal. 
Joe yeah, Williams. I like you very much, you know. And I watched his brother video, but I, I never, I never, I, I, I didn't know him or nothing. But um, then, uh, his brother made good videos too. Yeah, uh, he's he up tech. You, know? you know, his his brother started a long time ago. And oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, I was uh, Joey was talking about all about him. Yeah. And, he was very and close to him. Got him cleaned up. Yeah. So that's Next all I can say about that. Okay. What? What is your favorite video you seen? And you that uh, Chen Chen in in Sarasota when he caught the cop just relaxing. Can I play it on here? Yes, go on. Yes. <laughs> you gotta see this. And it's I never heard of him, Chen Chen. You know? You know Chen Chen? No, I never heard of him. He's a a, a Cuban guy who moved to Sarasota, Florida. Ah. Hey Mars, can you drop his link, please? The the Chen Chen guy? Thanks. Chen Chen Watch and Report is his channel's name. Chen Chen Watch and Report. And hold on. Wait till you see this. You're going to crack up. Because he saw this cop who was just. You asked me, but it's it's quick. I can I can pull it up to show you what. Yeah, go on. Hang on. Bear with me. Oh, it's worth the wait. East Los, thank you for coming in, Sean. Everyone oh. in the chat. East Los is in here. Yep. Much respect to that guy. That guy holds it down in California, like I said before, professionally. Thanks, Brennan, for the double double thing. Thanks, Mods, for coming in. Hold on. I don't know it takes something that's for every video to download, you know. Here we go. <laughs> Wait till you see this. You hear that sound of that car? Mm -hmm. I hear some type of mechanical failure coming from cruiser number 111. That's what he notices, right? Now look at this. There he is again, cruiser 111. Distinctive sound. situational where officers run the risk of endangering their colleagues, themselves, and the public. <laughs> the 
he said that's that's uh yeah. he lives well, the, on, on, excuse me in, where's the, i say the link already on your text where we're going huh oh where's it that's uh john uh i i just sent him the the um the link on the on the text message okay go I like this bit. It's funny. Um, yeah, he, they yeah. said he left kid marks on the street and in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chan Chan. Yeah, um, good person, good person. Okay, question five. What what branch did you serve? If you were in the military, the United States Marine Corps. Oh wow! I want to thank you for the uh, your service. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, how long have you been serving? I mean, how, how long have you been doing? How long have you been served there? Well, how many years uh, before you retired? Ten years. I oh, got out. Years? Yeah, I was given a choice to get out early, and I got out early. Oh, that's good. That too is, uh, too is, um, better than nothing, you know. Yeah. Because I love, um, it's not for everybody. When you know, I was young, know. you know, I joined when I was 17 years old. Mm. You know, I was on the other side of the planet, and people were like, Yeah, you want to go home, man? I was like, Yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> Okay, um, next question. Who have you audit and cop watch with? Oh, a lot of people. Name um, that um, like five, five, um, five, um, audits you did with. Name five other people you did. Five each. Oh, yeah. Well, of my favorite people. No, I can't say favorite because I'm gonna forget somebody and okay, not favorite anybody you audit anybody. A lot of people, but I can't start off without saying Rogue Nation, who I usually go out with, and the guy who brought me up in this, Rogue Nation, right? And I know him. Yeah, I I crossed the country to work with San Joaquin Valley Transparency. And his son, someone King Valley Transparency Jr. and Nate Skates 182, they're a team. And I, I've also worked with people who don't really do this anymore, who I just remember fondly. He doesn't even do this anymore, and I, I, I worked with him before. Mm-hmm. And like I said before, Jay Surreal Cameron, he passed away. Evil Rob passed away. Worked with them. Can you guys drop the links of that person? The uh, audits. Um, was Crispy um mention it, please? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Gregory. You know those those links for uh, Jay Surreal camera. Joey Surreal is it has taken over that. Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. I, he, I saw he said, he he sends money to uh, the the widow, so don't think that it's all just going to him or anything. He's helping. Oh yes, those. I know. I think that's the least he can do. You know. Okay, number seven. If you could go with anybody, who would it be? Linda, Linda Carter. Linda Carter. I never heard of her before. Is it, she's a uh, is she an audit? Oh no, Wonder Woman. Oh Wonder Woman. Okay. Oh Wonder Woman. Okay. Ooh, good taste. Very My good friends. taste. Right. Yeah, very good taste. <laughs> 
Okay. Number oh, with, eight. As far as auditors, if I could go audit with yes. somebody, who yes. would it be? Yes. Other than, other than people who I've never audited with? Yeah, anybody. 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 I mean, other, right, right. Um, I mean, I always like going auditing with Rogue Nation, but anybody who I haven't gone with... Uh, Wait, 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 wait. I, auditing here in county has come to my house and he barbecued here, but he and I never audited together. So I would love to, hey, Westside, I would love to audit with auditing Erie County, who, by the way, congratulations today, just got 100,000 subscribers. Oh, good job. Hell yeah, congratulations. And, and he's also eligible for a plaque. Like, I don't know. I never knew this was such a big deal. Wait, it's back there. Right there. You see it? <laughs> but yeah. he's going to get up too. Auditing year in county. I see the on the alternate page. Hey, Westside. Hey, Westside. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. Great. Thanks for setting this up. These are great yeah, questions. Yeah, and I'm late because I just got off of work. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm kind of a little nervous, but I, I was getting a little bit good. Okay. How? Can, can you guys I, hear me? I'm, yeah, I can hear you. How many yeah. languages you speak? I heard you speak eight languages, I heard. Nine. Feel the language? No, 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 <laughs> no. I, I, speak, I can get a hotel and a meal in several countries, uh, but I can't eat. Uh, as far as fluently, fluently, I speak. Can you uh, or, um speak non-language right now for for the chat? Everybody watching. At anybody, hold on. Let me go to the chat, and I can read stuff. I can speak it. As far as like you know, I can defend myself in most languages, but reading and writing, I can do very well in in several. And, and like I said, I could get a hotel and a meal in several languages. I I love different languages. And somebody just told me. That coding is the same thing. It's like you learn computer language. So I'm gonna get into that next. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm learning German. I speak German now. I I I think ich spreche. Can you say hi in German? Yeah. Guten Abend. Okay. Uh, and can you say hi um in language? You know. Like Korean. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, man. I, I don't know. Say the language, and I'll try to say it. There we go. Creole. Oh, Creole. oh bonsoir. French? Do you talk French? Bonsoir. Bon, bon, bon Oh, okay. That's three. <laughs> what other languages speak website? Creole. Do Spanish? Spanish. Creole. Italian? Okay. Italian. Dobre vecher. Buona serata. I'm I'm saying good evening in in oh, all man. the language I can think of. You know, not just hi. I'm I'm That's saying good good. evening. You know. All right. First so, name is that. Ciao. Ni hao, I could say hi in a lot of languages, you know. Ooh. Chinese, that, you heard like a quarter of my Chinese right there with the ni hao. <laughs> I don't know much Chinese or anything. Uh, you I see, Chinese and Japanese is very hard language to, to learn. Japanese is, is not difficult as far as oh, speaking. Huh? No, it's the same pronunciation as uh, in the vowels as in Spanish. I, it, oh, it, I didn't it, know that. Yeah. Oh wow, interesting. Anatano Namaiwa Nandeska. That means what is your name in Japanese? Mm. Eigo Wakarimaska. Do you understand English? 
Oh, toilet wow. wad of Podesca. Where's the toilet? <laughs> like I said, I I, I can. It's a, it's about memorization, not not intelligence. I know a lot of idiots that speak several languages. Oh wow, that's very good. Very challenged, very good. Thank you for very sharing good. that. Okay, number nine question. Would you audit the Senate or the Supreme Court? Um, for what? I mean, for like, like, yes, anything. yeah, absolutely, okay. yeah. I, I would, or I, I would, see if they I, would respect the right. I would love to get like all the paid, um, lobbyist money that goes to the Supreme Court, like all these paid vacations that they're being accused of and everything. I would love to audit that, yes. Hands yep. down, no question. I mean, all questions, yes. <laughs> mm, that's interesting. Why not? They, no, nobody in our government who we give the privilege to represent us should be held beyond recourse, beyond reprehension. Like, irre like come on. That's like antiquated... thinking of of these people are better than us when you right. see like brett kavanaugh crying his eyes out saying no uh, uh, uh eiffel tower was a card game it wasn't a sexual act of two guys and a girl like come on man tell your daughter to go into a frat right. house and say i want to play eiffel tower and see what happens and that guy is on our Supreme Court telling us for the rest of his life what is right and wrong. Come on. Okay. That was that definitely happened. wrong. That happened. It is wrong. 100% is wrong. And the final question is, any pending updates to share? Any uh, updates um, for me to share? Any updates to share? Do you have any updates on you? On you? Right. Well, well, I was arrested three times in as many mm -hmm. states in 2020, four years ago. Mm -hmm. February of 2020, exactly four years ago, or, or February 18th, was my first one. The other ones have been mitigated or whatever because – it's crazy in Georgia and Alabama. I had in Alabama, my bootlicker attorney went quail hunting with a judge oh, wow. and got the case thrown out. And I didn't go to try to sue them because doing shit in Alabama is difficult alone without having to have video of you and another channel screaming at the top of his lungs saying. Get your effing hands off him. In the background, it doesn't present as a sympathetic victim in the situation. When you, like, I was just trying to get a story, but I was surrounded by that. So yeah. you be careful who you go out with. It might destroy your case in the future. And then the Georgia one, oh, my God, that's a long story that I don't think we have time for tonight, but. It was crazy. It, that Muskogee County and Columbus, Georgia, is a, 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 a snake pit. They had the DA has been in, indicted on nine federal counts and is already serving his time in jail. He pled guilty. The uh, clerk of courts made the website change up, so I couldn't even keep track of my case and then when I called in to find out they told me no it, your case was yesterday I was like what and they're like yeah you don't know I'm like no who's your attorney I said Ross and Jared they're like oh yeah he died I'm like what my attorney's oh, wow. dead 
This happened. I don't mean to laugh, but I got more shit done after he died. And he and everybody in the whole town all went to the same church and they were in cahoots with each other. And it's like if somebody wants to go avenge me out there, go for it. I'm not going back there. I put them in my rear view. And then my first arrest, which was February of 2020, I am suing for. And it's separate trial in January of 2025. Got to know five years? It's not a half-hour sitcom like a lot of people think, you know, especially here in Florida. This is a good old boy network. All the, like, the Man, I, I don't want to say things that are hurt me, and but, I mean, everything out here, the attorney general is the daughter of the judge in my case or the brother. I don't know. I don't, they're, they're all in cahoots. And, you know, everybody loves the Polk County Sheriff, and he's not even the one I'm going up against. <laughs> you know, look him up. He doesn't want to have any body cams or dash cam. Grady Judd. Everybody thinks he's a swell guy, but Jesus. It's a good old boy. Like you wouldn't believe out here, man. Well, do you have like um, 10 minutes to answer questions? If, if anyone in the chat have anything to say, any any questions to say anything to um, Watch Crispy? Anyone? Any questions? Questions, comments, agreements, or disagreements? Yep. Or... Ten minutes, guys. At I'm your just going to say thank you for coming up and being here. And doing yeah, this. thank you. Thank you, Westside. Yep. You're welcome. Anyone have any questions? Sean, Brandon, anyone in the chat? Beck, yeah, chill or whatever. Brandon. Farlap moves. Love you too. Well, if you guys don't have any questions, then that in that any of you, it's to the end. Thank you, Watch Crispy, for coming in for, for your time. You're welcome. I know you all yeah. have a busy schedule. You know, thank you for coming. And West, thank you for giving the interview. I'm very I happy. Yeah, thank you. You bet, man. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here for. I'm only halfway done with my drink. Yeah, because <laughs> um, uh, all the people are from um USA. Catfish, yes. Um, where is this from? Um, USA and um, and West Coast, yes. USA. Um, catfish. How many languages do you speak, Gregory? Zero. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't speak that much. No, I don't. I don't speak any. I could say bad words, but I, I don't want to say. Any, you know, I'm, no. I'm part. I'm, I'm Armenian, French, Arabic, Turkish, and and um English. You know, I could say bunch of sheep French. That's it. You know, Turkish. Such a lot of choke, I don't understand that. I don't. I said your hair I'm looks good. today. Ah, <laughs> but this part. <laughs> what can yes. um, I give it? Well, guys, yes, and uh, right, Crispy, you gotta get Rogue Nation for Gregory next. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, yeah you want Rogue Nation. Again, is I I don't understand why you didn't get him up here first because he brought me up. We have that to start with up. you. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be glad to. Thank For you. We appreciate time, that. Thanks for having me on, and and thanks. Angry Vet is here. He wants an interview. <laughs> Angry Vet should get an interview. East Los, yeah. thanks for being here, man. East Los. Uh, we Brandon Mitchell again. Thanks. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you.
for everyone joining and God bless you and don't forget to film the police guys bye bye always always go live to save a life true <laughs> bye right bye Gregory